With the regular season winding down, placements are being made for district tournaments that will take place in less than two weeks. A big 59th district matchup tonight from Pikeville High School as the Panthers hosted Shelby Valley. The last time these two teams met was back on January 24th when the Panthers won it 56-42, keeping them undefeated in the 59th district. Shelby Valley getting moving, working their way inside. Zach Honegger puts... The Wildcats on the board first. Pikeville's Evan Rhodes answers back with the assist from Mikey McDonald from the perimeter. It's good. Rhodes finishes the game with 11 points. Shelby Valley battling Orby McPeak, taking the opportunity to the house. And then leading the Wildcats in points tonight, Blake Burke, who dropped in 16. But the Panthers will take this one home. Cade Byers working his way around Valley. Seth Johnson, basket is good, and the Panthers would keep the Wildcats on their toes. Connor Reisner knocks the ball loose and sends it Wyatt Battle's way. Battle would lead the Panthers to the victory, scoring 15 points tonight. Final score, Pikeville 56, Shelby Valley 41. The Panthers stay undefeated in the 59th district at 6-0. Shelby Valley falls to 3-3. Three three. A big matchup across the river in West Virginia as the Mingo Central Miners look for revenge over the Tug Valley Panthers who defeated them earlier this season by just one point, 45-44. to 44. A packed house on Minor Mountain, Mingo Central coming into this one in style, standing at 13-3 with Tug Valley at 10-7. Getting to the action, Jeremy Dillon leading this team, driving down court, no stopping, straight to the hoop, and he draws the foul. A Marshall basketball commit, he knocked in his one thousandth point during the game as the Miners put up a steady lead. Panthers fighting back from the pocket. Tyler May, nothing but net. Miners with the moves now. Keyshawn Rhodes last minute pass to Cannon Fletcher underneath the basket. Miners moving right along, but the Panthers clawing away. Colby Savage with the 10-foot jumper, but it was Mingo Central's Jeremy Dillon who led the Miners to a victory, knocking in 25 points tonight. Miners win it 74-53 and improve to 14-3 on the season.